right, today let's have some fun with this uh, model power and scale all metal FP7. So first uh, I'm going to unbox it for you. I really enjoyed this box. It's a very, uh, very nice box to have. So look at this case. It's spectacular. And in it, a couple of extra pieces. So I got this too on eBay. And it's less than perfect. But we're going to fix it up. The gas tank is missing completely. I don't know if that's going to be too objectionable. Uh, these are very nice uh, because they're all metal. So that makes it heavier. And I just like the feel of it. So uh, let's start by taking this apart. It needs a good cleaning and uh, everything else is there. That's really easy to come out. Actually, the gas tank holds it together. And the body is in nice shape, so let's just go through a little cleaning. Here, um, this is like the old days. It's uh, it's not a split frame. The frame is actually not uh, does not have any um, any contacts on it. Doesn't have carry any electricity. It's all done by wires, just like in the fifties. Well, I guess some HO scale locomotives still have wire. But it's got a really good motor and uh, it feels strong and the gearing is just perfect. So I really like these. So I took my shell and I uh, washed it with my toothbrush and some soap. While that's drying, I'm going to take my attention to these parts. This happens to be the front coupler pocket. Uh, it's just like any uh, normal Rapido uh, pocket. Uh, there's two screws holding it to the frame. Uh, so I'm going to glue this back together with some crazy glue. And while that's drying, I'll take care of the uh, chassis. So I'm going to run it on the track just to see where we're at. Actually, uh, actually runs okay right out of the box. backwards so I might not have to take it all the way apart maybe just a quick uh, lube and clean so let's get started with that there is however one little problem I found probably the wire was rubbing against the shell and got uh, exposed like that so I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape over that to prevent uh, short circuiting so four drops is all you need. And that's it. Now because your trucks are wired, it's not like a split frame where they just come out. It's a little trick here, you have to pry these pins out you can remove the truck uh, just like that so you can take the wheels right out and clean them and also clean your contact strips like I said before these are wired in there so you can't take them out so I'll get to work on cleaning that I like to clean the side frames uh, using my toothbrush that's all you need really but I like to clean the wheels with my rag and I just polish them like that. These are actually not bad, but since I have them in my hand, may as well give them the, uh, the best treatment possible. Now you might have to do that periodically on all your locomotives, but uh, that's what makes them run right that and keeping your track clean so this is the front one it's mostly in very very good shape this one can't complain at all so I'm gonna put my tape to keep it from short circuiting you don't need much just enough 
to prevent it from touching the uh, the body and that's it now I'm gonna put the body back on and we're gonna see what it looks like on the track so about the only flaw that I'm left with is I'm missing the gas tank uh, why do you call this an FP7 is because there's a tank that goes here to uh, hold water for the steam generator for the passenger cars so that's what it looks like on the track so it runs actually pretty good on the track of course uh, Kado's not going out of business anytime soon but they have really good uh, low speed performance really pleased with the low speed performance of this and the number boards light up which is a nice uh, nice added feature now I put the rear coupler on off camera because there's no easy way to do it and to save you from all the swearing. I'm going to work on the front coupler which is even worse. The front coupler has to be done in two steps. First you put the pocket with the spring and then you can put the retainer with the two screws. So again I'm going to do it uh, off camera. Well now that's about as tough as they come. But uh, now that it's over, I'm happy. And now it's time to run some trains. Being all metal gives them a chance to have uh, a little bit better pulling power. On the whole, I really enjoy these. Hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. See you soon.